Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome into the workshop. So this week been quite busy with the 18th scale stuff. I'm getting ready for a little competition that's happening between Christmas and New Year. So check out my Facebook group and there's information on there about that. I'm really looking forward to taking the Ripper V3 and I'm also going to be taking the Defender. Different classes so it should be a lot of fun. Now for a while I've been putting together an indoor crawler track for the 18th scale and it's taken a bit of a back seat but obviously the weather's turned here in the UK so I've brought it forward and it's given, given me a bit of drive to get it done. So as a lot of you know I like my 3D printing and I was just looking through Thingiverse and I came across these. These are like a tile for mini crawlers and if you look up RC Crawler Park Rumble Strips this will come up. Now what I've done I've printed a few of these off in this style so hopefully you can see it's like a terrain, rocky terrain. Really cool, it's nice and sturdy. They print in about five hours. I've printed mine out of Pet G, so they're really nice and tough. But what I've done, taking it to the next level, here's one I prepared earlier. Now this one, all I've done is I've put some watered down PVA glue on it. I've watered it down sort of probably three to one. So three parts water to one part glue. So it runs into all the cracks and crevices. And then I've just got hold of this uh, sand it's for when you have like a um, block paved driveway it's what you put on there it's kiln dried sand and then all I'm doing is just sprinkling it all over now I ha haven't put the glue on too thick because I don't want a thick layer of sand so I just go around and make sure all the surfaces are coated give it a few shakes dust it off and then just give it a bit more just to make sure it's got in all of the little cracks and crevices. Now I'm doing this for two reasons. One is because I'm going for like a, a desert theme on my crawler track. because I think it would be nice and bright and look cool and I can do some really good accessories for it. Um, but the other reason is it gives it grip. So this is going to give that 3D print a bit of grip, something for those tires to bite onto. And there we go. Very, very simple. Uh, some of them I've done two coats on, but one coat should be enough. Got a little area there, we do a little bit more. There we go. And there we are, so we end up with a tile. Now, I'll show you on the back, they're made like, a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. So you can slot them all together, so you can make a nice big track um, and it can't go anywhere. Now I thought, what a fantastic idea. Can I make some of my own? So what I did, I used the profile and I've done a few of my own. So this one has got like a stack of logs on it. And then this one here, and as you can see how they slot together, I've put some barrels and some logs. So I can do like, you know, up and over the barrels, etc. So you really can do almost any terrain you want with them. So the idea is, is they just all slot together and then you end up with a nice long or wide or whatever shaped terrain you want. As I said, really easy to do. So I just get my PVA wash and I'm using PVA because it's not going to dissolve the plastic. Um, I did look at using maybe a spray adhesive, but it did have a warning on it that it might dissolve certain plastics. So obviously I don't want the terrain dissolving. And obviously everybody remembers PVA from school. Once it's on, it's a pretty good adhesive. I just brush it into all the terrain, all the corners. And the fact it's 3D printed has actually added a bit of texture to it as well, which has made it um, look a bit more rock-like. Now you could leave them. I have a couple that I'll probably leave. And I might just put a bit of spray paint on them just to dull down the colour. And I just chose brown. Um, because I thought it would be a good sort of base colour uh, for the rocks, obviously, given the, the type of terrain that I was going for. But it'd be a good project uh, if you've got a 3D printer. If you haven't, then obviously tap a friend up who's got one, and I'm sure they'll be willing to print them off for you. So there we go, just make sure I've got all the, all the cracks and crevices. Thank <laughs> you. 
and then again just sprinkle my sand on put it on quite heavy to start with just letting the weight of the sand sort of make it bond itself on Now this stuff does go everywhere hence why I've put it in the in this tray a few pounds from a DIY store a little bit of a pat down there we go little shake off and personally I think they look fantastic so we'll sit that to side to, to dry and then um, we can have a look afterwards and see if it needs another coat but again it's very easy you just wash again over with the PVA and um, put like a thicker layer on really so there we go I thought I'd do a quick little video on that because it was a really interesting little project and just in time for Christmas because I'm sure loads of you are getting these mini crawlers get onto the 3d print sites and what I'll do I'll put a link below to um, so you can download my files um, I won't put a link to the other ones but because they obviously belong to somebody else but they're very easy to find on Thingiverse um, I found them in no problem whatsoever just put in crawler track or something like that and it'll come up so they're just perfect for a bit of tabletop crawling or if you want to make it bigger make it into a track like I'm going to do and um, this won't be the whole track but it will make quite a big part of it and uh, I look forward to taking the defender around um, and yeah so get some of it and print it off have a great time look in the description below for the for my files um, I'll be you know happy for you to um, use them and print them Please don't use them commercially because that's not fair on the people that put the time and effort into making them. And uh, have a great Christmas.